Andrea, want to make letters with your legs? Um, there's nothing I'd rather do than to make letters with my legs. Okay, perfecto. Let's do this. Stand with one foot on the floor and lift the other foot in front of you. See, it's like an upside down L. Or a right side up seven. <laughs> yeah, okay, hold this position for 10 seconds. Whew. We got this. I'm having a blast and all, but why am I making letters with my legs? To practice balancing. Oh, bien. Okay, muy bien. Now switch legs, keep the other one leg on the floor and bring the other leg up. See? It's another upside down L. Or a right side of seven. See? Okay, hold it for 10 seconds. Keep your balance. I'm doing my best. <laughs> <laughs> okay, almost there. Now stand on one leg and lift the other leg to the side, like this. And raise your hands straight up above your head. This one is an upside down Y. See? Or a big fork with two prongs, like you used to barbecue. Correcto, that too. Hold it for 10 seconds. Look at me balancing like a hot dog fork. <laughs> Almost there. Nice work. Now switch legs. <laughs> Keep your other leg on the floor and lift your leg out to the side, creating another upside down Y. Or a barbecue fork. <laughs> Así es. Hold it for 10 seconds. This is making me in the mood for barbecue. What's for lunch? Veggie burgers con queso. Yes! I love queso! Okay, last one. Stand on one leg and bring your other leg to rest inside of your knee. This one is a P. Or an upside down B. Yep. <laughs> Hold it for 10 seconds. It can also be a sideways straight mouth with tongue sticking out. Oh, see? What you said? Okay. Almost there. Great. Ugh. Now let's do the other <laughs> side. Stand on the other leg, bring your opposite leg up, and rest it on the inside of your knee. See? Another P. Or an upside down V, upside down and backwards D, or a sideways straight mouth with a tongue sticking out. <laughs> and now we're done. Ugh. Great letter legs and number and BBQ fork legs. <laughs> Consonant swag. Woo! Yeah. Nerdy by Nerdy nature. By nature. Uh -huh. Let's do it. Two consonants were swagging down the street. Dressed to the nines and rocking to the beat. One said to the other, yo, will you be my friend? And that was the start of a consonant, consonant blend. blend. Yeah, blend them up, woo! All right, here we go. PNR mix book. Like in Blender and Bless. PNR mix book. Like in Proud and Press. SNN mix mm. Like in Snack and Snap. SNL mix mm. Like in Slip, Slick and Slap. PNL mix book. Like in Plastic and Play. GNR mix book. Like in Green Grass and Gray. CNL mix book. Like in Clap and Clip. FNL mix book. Like in Flap, Flop and Flip. Whoa, bro, I'm flipping out. Two consonants were texting one day. They were all like LOL and OMJ. <laughs> to the other hey will you be my friend and that was the start of a consonant, consonant blend and I I I like i can't even s and t mix like in stupendous and stink dnr mix like in dragon and drink f and r mix like in frog and frame b and r mix like in brick break and brain s and k mix like in skinny and skills t and r mix like in tricky and trills t and h mix like in them there and they s and h mix like in shake and shade no throwing shade though another diagram two consonants were chilling in a boat the boat tipped over and they both started to flow one said to the other um will you be my friend and that was the start of a consonant blend and a trigraph blend them up blend them up blend them up blend them up S&P mix like in spit and spot. SQU mix squ like in squad and squat. S&W mix swo like in swag and sweet. TNW mix swo like in twig and tweet. S&C mix like in scoot and scar. SNM mix mm. like in smooth and smart. GNL mix glue. like in glow stick and glue. CNR mix like, like crazy with my crew. Nerdy by nature. Two consonants were swagging down the street, dressed to the nines and rocking to the beat. All right. One said to the other, hey, will you be my friend? And that was the start of a consonant, consonant blend. blend. Smooth. Dope. 
know, for whatever reason, I'm, I'm in a mood for like a smoothie. Is that a consonant blend? Or a diagraph. <laughs> Don't, Don't read like, like a robot. robot. Let me tell you a little story, folks. So I was chilling in class, minding my biz, when my teacher, she calls on me. Uh -oh. She says, it's your turn to read aloud. Then like a nice e pop, I freeze. <laughs> when I open my mouth to speak the words, my tongue is in a knot. Do I read with expression? Not even close. I sound like a robot. Did you know that tigers have striped skin, not just striped fur? And my teacher said, flip a switch. And read it like this! Did you know that tigers have striped skin, not just striped fur? Who knew? Did you know that tigers have striped skin, not just striped fur? Got you it. gotta read with expression. Okay. Yes, read with expression. I got Come it. Come on and read with expression. I'ma do it. Come on. Next day, I was lounging in my room, and my mom knocked right on my door. Knock, knock. She said, you got a letter from Gramps. He's with Gramps in El Salvador. Oh, really? I went to read the letter to myself, but my mom opened up her lips. She said, why not read the letter out loud? I want to hear about their trip. Aw, oh, man. Hello, Sonny. We're having a blast. Grandma and I went skydiving. And my mom said, flip a switch and read it like this. Hello, Sonny. We're having a blast. Grandma and I went skydiving. Hello, Sonny. We're having a blast. Grandma and I went skydiving. Ooh. You got to read with expression. Yes, read with expression. I'm going to do it. to read with expression. The next day I tried out for the play and I really wanted the main part. Really, really? I practiced the lines over and over again. I was nervous, oh man, my heart. Bump, bump. When it was my turn of stage to read for the role, all the blood rushed to my head. Whoa. My tongue twisted up and knees started to shake. You couldn't hear a word I said. True that. I'm sitting on attack. I'm sitting on attack. I'll help him sitting on attack. Oi. And my director said, flip a switch and read it like this. I'm sitting on attack. I'm sitting on attack. I help I'm sitting on attack. I'ma try it. I'm sitting on attack. I'm sitting on attack. I help I'm sitting on attack. Ouch. You gotta read with expression. Yes, read with expression. Come on and read with expression. Now when I read anything out loud, I do it with passion and flair. No more mumbly words and silly murmurs. I'm chill, not all crazy and scared. Chill. I used to read like a robot. All my words sound exactly the same. That's true. But now I read with expression. Yo, that's my claim to fame. Go on, Cause sir. I read with expression. Oh, yes, I read with expression. I like to read with expression. I do. You gotta read with expression. Yep. Yes, read with expression. I do want to read with expression. Hey, I learned. Don't read like a robot. Anybody want a peanut? I'll take it. CBAs. Back with CBAs to sing you can. Go let's. T Y X W V U T. I went backwards. S R Q P O N M L K. Let's go. J I H. Get. 
When you take a word apart, count, count, count some syllables, clap it out, yeah. clap it out. This is how we rock with syllables, clap it out, clap it out. Mice, mice, bake, bake, cheese, cheese, cakes, cakes. Put it all together now. Mice, bake, cheese, cakes. One more time. Mice, bake, cheese, cakes. I guess a mouse would bake a cheesecake, right? Syllables, so the syllables, they're what you get. When you take a word apart, we'd be miserable without syllables. They're what you get. When you take a word apart, count, count, count some syllables. Clap it out, clap it out. This is how we rock with syllables. Clap it out, clap it out. Two syllables, let's do it. Awesome, awesome. Hamster, hamster. Birthday, birthday. Party, party, put it all together now. Awesome hamster birthday party. One more time. Awesome hamster birthday party. That was a crazy party. Syllables, just the syllables, they're what you get. When you take a word apart, we'd be miserable without syllables. They're what you get. When you take a word apart, count, count, count some syllables. Clap it out, clap it out. This is how we rock with syllables. Clap it out, clap it out. Three syllables, work it out. Woo. Chimpanzee, chimpanzee, volunteers, volunteers, inspecting, inspecting, chandeliers, chandeliers. Put it all together now. Chimpanzee, volunteers, inspecting, chandeliers. One more time. Chimpanzee, volunteers, inspecting, chandeliers. I can see everything in here now. Syllables, just the syllables, they're what you get. When you take a word apart, we'd be miserable without syllables, they're what you get. When you take a word apart, count, count, count some syllables, clap it out, clap it out. This is how we rock with syllables, clap it out, clap it out. Four syllables get complex. Invisible, invisible. Alligators, alligators. Appreciate, appreciate. Calculators, calculators. Ooh. Put it all together now. Invisible alligators. Appreciate calculators. One more time. Invisible alligators. Appreciate calculators. Oh, no, that could count. Syllables, just the syllables. They're what you get when you take a word apart. We'd be miserable without syllables. They're what you get when you take a word apart. Count, count. Count some syllables, clap it out, clap it out. This is how we rock with syllables, clap it out, clap it out. Five syllables, blow it up. Vegetarian, vegetarian, hippopotamus, hippopotamus. Evaluating, evaluating, potato salad, potato salad. Put it all together now. Vegetarian hippopotamus evaluating potato salad. One more time. Vegetarian hippopotamus evaluating potato salad. My evaluation of this potato salad is really great. Syllables, just the syllables, they're what you get. When you take a word apart, we be miserable without syllables, they're what you get. When you take a word apart, count, count, count some syllables, clap it out. Clap it out. This is how we rock with syllables. Clap it out. Clap it out. Syllables. Yo, my mom's potato salad's better than your mom's. Not really, but we'll see. Wizard of Words. Yo, OnStar. Yeah. You got the magic wand, my friend. Oh, I do. And let me show you how to do it I'm a wizard of words Casting prefixes here You put them before a word And a new word appears Poof shazam Poof poof shazam Poof shazam Poof poof shazam Prefixes and suffixes Change a word's definition Hocus pocus lightning bolt He's a lyrical magician Thanks. Poof shazam Poof poof shazam Poof shazam Poof poof shazam A prefix is a group of letters Added before a word A word It changes the meaning And it makes a brand new word Sing it nerds Miss is a prefix It means I'll make a totally new word with my magic wand. Spell, poof, misspell. Read, poof, misread. Match, poof, mismatch. Judge, poof, misjudge. Oh. This is a prefix, it means not. Mix it in the magic brew in my wizard pot. What up? Like, poof, dislike. Agree, poof, disagree. Continue, poof, discontinue. Appear, poof, disappear. Bye bye. Pre is a prefix, it means before. I got a lot of magic, man. This prefix is galore. View, poof, preview. School, poof, preschool. Pay, poof, prepay. Teen, poof, pre 
18. Oh my gosh. Poof Shazam, poof, poof Shazam, poof Shazam, poof, poof Shazam. I'm a wizard of words, casting suffixes here. When I put one after a word, then a new word appears. Poof Shazam, poof, poof Shazam, poof Shazam, poof, poof Shazam. Prefixes and suffixes change a word's definition. Hocus Pocus lightning bolt, he's a lyrical magician. Poof Shazam, poof, poof Shazam, poof Shazam, poof, poof Shazam. A suffix is a group of letters added after a word. It changes the meaning and it makes a brand new word. Sing it, nerds! S is a suffix, it means the most. I'm the dopest wizard, yo, but I don't mean to boast. Whoop. Loud, Shazam. loudest, strong, Shazam. strongest, high, Shazam. highest. Great, Shazam. greatest. I'm the greatest. Less is a suffix. It means without. You're powerless to resist these spells I'm calling out. Rest, Shazam. Restless, and Shazam. Endless. Taste, Shazam. Tasteless. Fear, Shazam. Fearless. You know it. Herb is a suffix. It means more. When I add it at the end of a word, I feel like Voldemort. Big, Shazam. Bigger. Fast, Shazam. Faster. Tall, Shazam. Taller. Hot, Shazam. Hotter. Ooh, that's hot. I'm a wizard of words casting prefixes here. You put them before a word and a new word appears. I'm a wizard of words casting suffixes here. When I put one after a word and a new word appears. Oh. Poof, shazam, poof, poof, shazam, poof, shazam, poof, poof, shazam. This song is dedicated to all the movers and shakers out there. Come on, let's get our alpha groove on. A, A, arch like the A. Arch like the A, cause that's A-OK. -okay. B, B, bounce like the B. Bounce like the B, bouncing over the B. C, C, climb like the C. Climb like the C, climbing up a tree. B, B, duck like the D. And quack like the duck, ducking under the C. Enjoy like the E. Jump up for joy and enjoy everything. Like the I, but don't eat your eye. Jump like the J. Jump high, jump low, jump over the hay. Gay, gay, kick like the K. But don't kick your kitten, cause that's not okay. L, L, love like the L. I'll hug all your love, you just might as well. L, L, move like the L. Move your body, everybody, and do it with a grin. And nap like the N. Hands in your lap, take a nap, get all zen. All, all open like the O. Open up your arms, wave them fast. Shake and shiver like the quivering too. All, all, run like the all. Run faster than the cheetah or Ferrari race car. Shake like the S. Shake like maracas, shake in excess. D, D, throw like the D. Throw legendary balls at the giant D. You, you go under like the U. Go under, down, under with the kangaroo. B, B, float like the B. Raise your hand, take a stand for what you believe. W, W, walk like the W. Walk like it, talk like it. Oh, wait, it's a W. It's one spot like the Up on your feet. Got to sleep, count some sheep, cause we're all done now. Fraction connoisseur. Contractions are all that I'm sure you concur. Come on and dance with me, I'm a contraction kind of sure. You turn two words into one, monsieur. Who are you? I'm a contraction kind of sure. Yeah. There's always an apostrophe or missing letters word. You know how I know I'm a contraction kind of sure. Hop in this ride for my contraction oh, tour. Yeah. Contraction kind of sore will be a show for. Yeah. I am turns to iron. What have turns to water? Whoa. You are turns to your. What have turns to cutter? Uh -huh. We're not turns to water. He is turns to he. Hey. Are not turns to art. She is turns to she. Yeah. Roses are red, violets are blue. The contraction 
kind of so I tell us rendezvous. You will turn to you, will not turn to won't. You have turns to you, do not turn to don't. It is turns to is, it's not turns to isn't. Cannot turn to can't, did not turn to didn't. Roses are red, violets are blue. The contraction kind of so is here. I'm getting deja vu. The contraction kind of so is here. I'm getting deja vu. The contraction kind of so is here. I'm getting deja vu. Stop. Stop. You gotta get back to the bridge. Contractions are made up of two words combined. It's like the words get together, then they unify. They call it that because contract means shrink. It's shorter than the original words, don't you think? Put the apostrophe in place of missing letters. We love the apostrophe, we wrote it on our sweaters. A B O S T R O P H E. When it's turns to win, there is turns to them. Who is turns to who? Where is turns to where? She will turn to shield. He is turned to heal. He will turn to heal. Contractions are all that I'm sure you concur. Come on and dance with me. I'm a contraction kind of sword. Turn two words into one monsieur. Who are you? I'm a contraction kind of sword. There's always an apostrophe with missing letters word. You know how I know I'm a contraction kind of sword. I hope you enjoyed your contraction tour. Now you two are a contraction kind of sword. We kind of sword. We contraction kind of sword. Two contraction kind of sword. That's French, homie. Word off. Yo, yo, yo. Welcome to the Word Off. The competitor with the best words wins. It's a competition of words, you know. A battle royale, a test of your mojo. Let's go. Think quick like a bird. Till your eyes go cross like a crossword. You heard? Word? Word up. Incredible minds are about to meet. Now get up on your feet. It's a Word Off. Come on, word Three, off. two, one, blast off. First round, the word is happy. Let's go! Delighted, raptures, please, content, satisfied, ecstatic, or exuberant, merry, joyful, jolly, elated, blissful, thrilled, and exhilarated. Yeah. I crushed yeah, that. I know I got that one. Second round, the word is sad. Be sad. Are you heartbroken, melancholy, depressed, miserable? Yes. Gloomy, blue, hurt, or inconsolable. Uh -huh. Sorrowful, dejected, downcast, glum. Mournful, crestfallen, down in the dumps. Oh. Round three, the word is mad. Let's do it. Are you livid, irritated, frustrated, furious? Enraged, irate that the world is so injurious. Annoyed, insist, beside yourself with spite. In a rage, wrathful, and ready for a fight. Ooh, he's too hot. Champ right here, bro. What, what, what? Word off. It's a competition of words, you know. Woo. A battle royale, a test of your mojo. Let's go. Think quick like a bird. Hey. Till your eyes go cross like a crossword. Woo. You heard? Word? Word up. Incredible minds are about to meet. Now get up on your feet. It's a word Come off. On. Word off. Gloves off. Let's go. Let's get it. Get ready for round four. Your word is good. Now take it to the hood. Huh. Marvelous, delightful, lovely, fantastic, grand, brilliant, superb, enthusiastic, fabulous, excellent, lively, magnificent, magnanimous, kind, giving, and beneficent. You know this is my round, right? Round five. Your word is surprised. Shocked, astounded, astonished, amazed, bewildered, incredulous, startled, dazed, stunned, flummoxed, flabbergasted, thunderstruck, speechless, floored, stupefied, shaken up. <laughs> Who let that chicken in here? Final round. Your word is say. Now speak, exclaim, howl, shout, yell, shriek, roar, screech, wail, utter, opine, profess, announce, declare, state, vocalize, pronounce, oh. what, 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 word off. It's a competition of words, you know, Woo. a battle royale, a test of your mojo. Let's go, think quick like a bird, hey. till your eyes go cross like a crossword. Woo. You heard, word, word up, incredible minds are about to meet, now get up on your feet, it's a word Come off. On. Word off. Signing off. Don't slack off. You know what? I think the chicken won that one. The chicken? Mr. Pollo! The, the chicken won. No way. No. Yeah, definitely. Bye. 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 Woo! Go noodle with it. Blaze of friends. Let's go. Yo, you're about to get your mind blown. Cause I'm about to rap about the homophone. Yeah. Quick, get your grandmama on the phone. Cause we're gonna hear all about the homophone. Homophones are different meaning words that sound exactly the same. That's correct. This might sound kinda tricky, but I know you got the freshest brain. I Here, like H E A R, H -E -A -R means, means to perceive a sound. A sound. I can't hear a single thing but this basset hound. <laughs> Here, like H E R E means in this place. 
Like I stand here and you stand there So you don't drool in my face Ew. You're like Y-O-U-R means it belongs to you It's mine Your breath is kind of funky, dog. Want some gum to chew? You. You're like U apostrophe R-E Is a contraction of you and R You're not just a smelly basset hound You're also a pogo star <laughs> Yo, you're about to get your mind blown Cause I'm about to rap about the homophone Quick, get up out of your pajama show We're about to get woke to the homophone Come on! Homophones are different meaning words That sound exactly the same Precisely Why is the English language so insane? That's crazy. It's like I-T-S With no apostrophe means Belonging to a thing Like quick, give that baby robot It's robot teething ring It's like it apostrophe S It's a contraction of it and is or has Like that baby robot only goes to sleep If it's listening to jazz Why like B-Y identifies who did something That's right Like this entire song song was written by some baby robots that sing by like b y e is a way to say farewell Goodbye. like bye baby robots see you later watch out for that stairwell oh. ah. yay you're right there they're like t h e i r means it belongs to them they're like t h e r e means it is in that place right they're like they apostrophe r e is a contraction of they and r their ufo's are over there and they're all playing space guitar two like t o expresses motion in a direction, a direction. two like t w o is referring to the number two spell t w o means to an excessively high degree That's different. i'm going to the vet with my two friends Cause about to tell I had too many fleas Too many Yo, you're about to get your mind blown Cause I'm about to rap about the homophone Quick, get that llama a blueberry stone Cause he dropped mad info on the homophone Homophones are different meaning words that sound exactly the same Exactly Now, now your homophonous knowledge will get some critical acclaim Hey Homophonous 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 Going on, on. Y'all ready to get it popping, comma style? For sure. Let's hit it. With so much drama in the four, five, six, I drop a comma in the sentence like a ton of bricks. There's a lot of instances where I gotta use one. Blaze of fresh is here to eliminate the comma blue. I use a comma. 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 I use one. I use a comma to separate three or more words in a list. I'm maxing, relaxing, the cool. You get Woo! the gist. I use a comma after introductory words such as yes and well. Yes, I'm wearing cologne. How can you tell? I use a comma yeah. to separate adjectives to a more. On star is a charming, fun fellow on the day. I Woo! use a comma before conjunction to join independent clauses. I like enormous words and I like pauses. This is awkward. I like it. With so much drama in the four, five, six, I drop a comma in the sentence like a ton of bricks. There's a lot of instances where I gotta use one. Blaze of fresh is here to eliminate the comma blue. I use a comma. 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 I use one. I use a comma on either side of an appositive. Savior, the optimist is always so positive. I use a comma when I address someone that helps us understand. Excuse me, Rasheen, when you raise the roof, put up your hand. Okay. Comma between the name of a city and the state. San Francisco, California's got this bridge to Golden Gate. I use a comma when I quote. She said, I only hike a mountain when I'm with my mountain girl. I use a comma when I write the day between the day and year. January 1st, 1735. Oh. Happy birthday, Paul. Happy Revere. birthday. With so much drama in the four, five, six, I drop a comma in the sentence like a ton of bricks. There's a lot of instances where I gotta use one. Blaze of fresh is here to eliminate the comma blue. I use a comma. 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 I use one. Me too. Hold the applause. You can also use a comma after a dependent clause. When I watch movies, I like to eat seaweed. When I make smoothies, I put in a ton of flax seeds. While you were out, all I thought about was commas. When spring break comes, I want to go to the Bahamas. Spring break. I love spring break. With so much drama in the four, five, six, I drop a comma in the sentence like a ton of bricks. There's a lot of instances where I got to use one. Blaze of fresh is here to eliminate the comma blue. I use a comma. 
I use a comma. I use a comma. I use a comma. I use a comma. What? I use a comma. I use a comma. I use one. I do. Ski bop, beep bop, a deep dribble beep bop, bend a beep bop. Gotta put the comma, put on the comma, come through the comma, drop the drama. No more drama, say the drama for your mama and just stop. Come and use the comma. Ha, the sentence. If it's sent, it could get tense. Which a sentence is, then use the comma. <laughs>